Yeah, we won't know uh, fully until tomorrow. Uh, we have had a bit of a virus go through the group over the last week. Um, and not just the players, but a few of the, the support staff as well. So I think just given the, the nature of the schedule, we've had, I think tomorrow will be our fifth game in 10 days. Um, and we've had a number of flights back and forth to different venues. So it's probably, you know, caught up with a few people. But um, yeah, in terms of the fitness, obviously last night we missed out on a, a couple of guys. Uh, Chris Lim was under the weather. Um, and, and then uh, Sonal Narayan missed out as well. But uh, look, there's a few guys training tonight and hopeful that they'll be fit for tomorrow's game against Chennai, which is, you know, a, a huge game for us. Yeah, they could do. Uh, I think... Uh, Delhi probably uh, read the wicket really well last night. You know, they only bowled four overs of spin. Um, there's not much there for the spinners. I thought, uh, you know, our spinners have done a great job at home, uh, particularly in the, the first couple of games. I mean, the wicket has been an absolute belter to bat on. So it's been high scoring, quick outfield. Um, so I think all the batsmen have, have certainly enjoyed it out there. I think the spinners are finding it hard work because there's not a lot of assistance for them. Um, and it's quite an easy paced wicket, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what um, you know the master in Dhoni goes with tomorrow night. Given uh, he's, he he seems to pull the right strings at the right time, you know, even even the last game they played Rajasthan, you know, he, he, Harbour Jan's been bowling beautifully. He doesn't play because they got five right-handers in their top order, and he brings in Santner, who did a good job for them. So you know, he's very clever in the way he goes about it, and we probably need to take a leaf out of that book. Well, I think he's so well prepared, you know, in terms of, you know, there's a lot of thought put into the team that you come up against. Um, he's very clever in the way he uses his bowlers, even the field positions. Uh, and we got completely outplayed in Chennai. Uh, they obviously know that wicket really well, but, you know, we feel that our team suits that wicket as well with the quality of spinners we've got. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't adapt with the bat uh, the other night in Chennai and we probably thought we were playing on a, you know, a 180 wicket. And you can't always do that in T20, and it took us probably four overs too long to realise that, and that there was the game done and dusted. So I think Andre Russell summed it up beautifully. And you know, had we got another 20 or 30 runs the other night, maybe got 140, we were well and truly in the game. But um, we just got to be better at summing up the conditions, uh, particularly away from home, a bit quicker than we did the other night. But it was good learning, and I'm sure our guys will be better for it next time around. Yeah, look, he uh, obviously got through the game pretty well last night. Um, unfortunately, that uh, waist high full toss, I should say, that got him uh, late from Rabada, I think it was. Um, you know, he inside edged it. I think he just had a bit of bruising in his leg, so that was why he's probably hobbling around a bit. But I mean, the form he's in, he's been magnificent for us. You know, he's, he's won a couple of our games single handedly, and we've got to have uh, a number of guys step up and take a bit of the pressure off him because at the moment, um, you know, it's becoming. Uh, He's digging us out of you know a few holes at the moment. Yeah, look, I mean, he's certainly won us a number of games, and his form has been magnificent. It's the most consistent we've seen him from game to game. And I mean, in terms of the way he's playing, he's, he's really confident. He's dominant. Um, he's putting a lot of pressure on the opposition bowlers. I mean, Rabada's world class, um, and the way that uh, he played him last night was magnificent. I think there's plenty of our guys in good form. Unfortunately, last night we, we didn't get enough on the board. Uh, but saying that, I still think we had enough runs to be able to defend. Um, we probably erred in terms of the way we bowled, in, in, particularly in our lines. Um, so we'll hopefully have learned from that and come back positive tomorrow. But all in all, most of our guys are in good form. I mean, Natish Rana has been brilliant. Um, you know, Son and Ryan, before he got injured, started to find some form in Rajasthan. Chris Lynn was starting to find some form before he got sick. Um, you know, obviously Shubman batted beautifully last night and he's had limited opportunities at the crease. Robin Utap has been in good form and Andre. So, I mean, obviously the skipper hasn't had a lot of time at the crease, but that's probably because of Andre's form. Um, but otherwise, you know, we're happy with where the batting group's at. We unfortunately just had a bit of a blip in, uh, in Chennai, but a, a lot of that was due to, you know, fantastic captaincy from Dhoni and um, you know, a tougher wicket to battle. Yeah, look, he was magnificent last night. Uh, I think it was a bit of a turning point when he got out because uh, at that stage, the partnership with he and Andre Russell was going really well. And I think he, he batted with a maturity beyond his years. You know, he moved through the different gears, um, you know, once he got set. And then just as he got out last night, it looked like he was going to ready to explode and, um, and I guess take a bit of pressure off Andre to be able to enable him to get in his innings. And 
um, yeah, it was a, a shame because you know a metre either way, and that was four, and, and he was away. But um, you know, he's a great young talent. Uh, we love having him here, and hopefully he'll get more opportunities at the top of the order. But it is a difficult one because you know the two guys that have done the job for us in the last couple of years, Chris Lynn and Sonal Narayan, have been as dangerous as anyone in the comp. So um, we have to weigh it up. Obviously, we're playing Chennai, and, and we have to figure out sort of what they might throw at us in the power play. So. Um, I think the beauty of our batting lineup is it's pretty flexible and a lot of our guys can bat in different positions. I mean, Natish Rana showed that in the first game. He wasn't supposed to open against Sunrisers when and Narayan came off injured and um, opened and did a great job. So oh, I think we've got enough flexibility in our batting to hopefully spring a few surprises for the rest of the comp. Yeah, look, I thought they did a really good job in the first two games. Um, you know, to restrict some batting teams like Sunrisers and, and Kings Eleven. Obviously, Sunrise has got a very potent top order, and we managed to keep them to 180 odd, which is probably only par here. Um, and obviously, went on to win that game. So I thought they did a pretty good job, and there wasn't a lot of assistance there. Um, and then the Kings 11 game the same. So I think they're doing as well as they possibly can with not much assistance. So I think the, the, the spinners are certainly going to be having a, a chat to the curator at some point, and hoping that uh, they get a bit bit of help because we know they're all quality bowlers. I mean, Sun and Orion. Pierce Chowler and Kuldeep Yadav, all their records speak for themselves. And I think if you get them on a spinning wicket, I think most um, teams around the comp know that they're all three high-class spinners. Um, and then Tishran is a, you know, a good part-time spinner as well. So I think we've got quality bowlers there. Unfortunately, at the moment, you know, there's times, particularly last night, we didn't bowl cleverly at times uh, and paid the price. But the boys know that and, and we'll look at the footage and hopefully be better for it tomorrow when we play Channel.